Hello and welcome to another tutorial in XNA. Um, I'm actually sick right now, so my voice may not be as strong, and there might be fits of coughing in between when I'm talking. So I apologize for that. But I also apologize for not putting out a tutorial in a very long time, because I was busy with school and uh, I did not have as much free time as I had previously. But I plan on making more tutorials for you guys uh, in the future. So. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to create a background so I have this background sprite called ground and I'm just going to drop it into our project here there we go and I'm actually not sure Wait, did I create a sprite database in this here no it seems that I have not done that so uh, in that case, I'm going to declare a texture in the game class. Uh, actually, you know what? Why don't we have declare in the play component class if we have one? Do we have one? Do we have one? Wow, we don't have one. Okay, never mind. So, texture 2D. Uh, let's call this background. And that's going to be our. Uh, what the heck? Declaration. Then we're going to initialize it here. Say uh, background equals content dot load, and it's going to be a texture two D. Okay. And let's see. Uh, we called it ground so we're gonna have to put sprites ground okay so now we have this uh, background stored in this variable now we have to just all we have to do is draw it to the screen uh, so right in here we want to put something we're gonna draw the oh actually no this is an update excuse me right in the draw section here we're going to draw the background so uh, let's do this okay uh, so the first variable we're gonna make is we're gonna get the corner of the screen so we're gonna make a new vector and the reason we're doing this is because uh, we don't want to waste our game resources by drawing a bunch of backgrounds where the screen not, is not even going to see. So uh, we're just going to draw the background where the screen is. So we're going to create a new uh, vector2 called corner screen. And we're going to make this equal to uh, camera dot uh, position minus, I'm going to create a new vector2, uh, minus screen screen dot width and screen dot height divided by two. Okay, so the camera position is the position right in the center of the screen. So we want we're getting the position in the top left of the screen, and uh, we're actually going to create another vector too. And starting point two draw. And we're going to make this equal to corner of the screen minus, uh, let's see, yeah, we'll just do it again. Yeah, minus screen width and height. <laughs> the reason we're doing this is uh, because we don't want to start drawing our backgrounds right at the, the corner of the screen. We want to start it like a little bit uh, further out, a little bit uh, wi wider than the screen, because the reason we're doing that is uh, so there's no part that's undrawn on the screen. Because if it's right on the corner of the screen, there could be some parts on the screen that aren't drawing a background. So just to be safe, we're going to put our starting corner a little bit uh, off the screen. Next, we're going to create a for loop and uh, 
<coughs> excuse me. And we're gonna create an uh, integer called x within the for loop. And we're gonna say uh, it starts at the corner screen. So it starts at the top left of the screen, divided by the ground background dot width. So um, we're not we don't want the exact pixels. We just want uh, like how many it has to draw. So uh, it's gonna draw every it's gonna draw as many as it can fit. So that's why we're dividing it by the width of it. And actually, I think we have to cast this as an integer. So there we go. And x has to be smaller than uh, corner screen plus new vector two. Oh, actually, you know what? We should make a new variable. Uh, copy these two, and just instead of minus, just make them plus. So this is the bottom right of the screen. Uh, corner, corner two screen, and ending, ending, point to draw. How much time do we have? Okay, we're good on time. Uh, I want you to say ending point to draw divided by background dot width and this needs to be x and we're just going to say x plus plus so essentially what this is doing is it's starting a little bit further out from the top left of the screen and it's going to loop all the way to the top right of the screen. You might be looking at this and saying, oh, this is not going to work yet. And why did you choose x to be the variable instead of i, which is normal? So, uh, the reason I'm doing that is we're going to put two for loops within each other. And we're going to uh, name this one y instead. And uh, you can probably see where I'm going with this. And just replace all of them y. And then instead of width, put height. And so, excuse me. So <coughs> now it will work. So we can say, uh, actually, I'm just going to copy the sprite batch uh, statement from our object class. <coughs> and instead of sprite index, we're going to say background. And instead of position, we're going to say new vector2 x times. Uh, x times background dot width and y times background dot height and I'm just going to say this as null and <coughs> we don't need it to rotate this background so 0.0f and then we can just have this as vector 2.0 don't need a center this top left can be the center scale 1 okay so let's go ahead and test this Oh, actually, uh, you know, we should put all this stuff before we draw everything else. Okay, I'm just going to double check the code. Okay, s sorry, I accidentally stopped recording, so, uh, but I figured out some bugs with this. Uh, just instead of corner screen, <laughs> make it corner two string screen because uh, we're using this variable right here, and uh, I was being a dumb person, and I didn't put starting point to draw. So just replace these with starting point to draw, and it should work. So let's go ahead and test this. And as you can see, uh, we have a background drawing pretty much everywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please leave a rating if you liked the video. And I hope uh, you stay to see another one of my tutorials. Okay, thank you, and bye.